I can't quite reach. I sure wish I could get over to the far side of the canyon. I think dinosaurs are the most amazing creatures I've seen in my whole life. That looks like Pep in that nest across the canyon. I think dinosaurs are... I wish I could get over to the other side of the canyon. I wonder how I can do it. I sure wish I could get... Look at that! It's an apatosaurus! An itchy and a horribly miserable apatosaurus at the moment. My name's Putt-Putt, and maybe I can help you. What a positively inspired idea. You could just roll on over to my back and scratch away this terrible itch. But then I'd have to drive over your head. Not a problem, Putt-Putt. I'm tough. I can take it. Just, oh, scratch that spot, please. Now go up just a bit. Yes. Yes. A little bit higher. Oh, yes. A little bit higher. Ah. Oh, yes. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's so much better. Thank you. You're welcome. I was happy to help. Mind if I drive over your tail to the other side? As far as I'm concerned, Putt-Putt, you could drive on me all day and night. Be my guest. Thanks! Oh my goodness, it's Pet! She's in a pterodactyl nest! <laughs> Don't worry, Pep. I'll rescue you. I got you, Pep. I sure did miss you, boy. <laughs> now all I have to do is get my lunch box, my calculator, and my history report. So Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. Hello to you too, Will. Where are my manners? Can I interest you in some fabulous, delicious, nutritious, primordial soup? Made it myself. Sure, that would be great. Compliments of the house. Mmm, primordial soup tastes terrific. Thanks, Will. Ah, don't mention it.
Do you need some help? Ma, you are certainly the fancy carriage. I'm not a carriage exactly. I'm a car from the future. My name's Putt-Putt. I'm very happy to meet you, Putt-Putt. I'm Princess Chassie. And this is my best friend and loyal subject, Woodward. We have been out collecting wood for the blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit. We were charging back to the castle as fast as we could when I hit a bump and my wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Well, maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. Now I wonder how we should do this. Okay, Princess Chassie, here's the plan. You lift up your friend Woodward and I'll slip on his wheel. It would be my pleasure. Oh my goodness gracious sakes. Good thanks to both of you. You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time. And I have to return with the blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps we'll see you later, Pet Pet. Bye! <laughs> Wow, this is some castle! Yes, it is! Only the rings have rested the gates shut. We need something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. Maybe I can find something that would work. That would be wonderful, Pet Pet. Help open that rusty gate. A thousand and one thank yous, Putt Putt. Now we won't be late for story time. to see you again, Putt-Putt. You're in for a regular treat, because Sir Poundalot, my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith in the world, and that's the truth. <laughs> it's my lunch spot! Sir Blaze. That is extremely impolite. Give the little fellow his lunchbox, please. Wow. I am terribly sorry about my dragon. He's a bit out of sorts today. He hasn't had a morsel of dragon food to eat all day. Do you think if I found him some dragon food, he'd trade it for my lunchbox? <laughs> I suppose you should interpret that as a yes. Hmm. 